This funny looking jig will allow you to cut circles of almost any diameter. It's really easy to make, less than an hour, and you'll be cutting circles. It's simply a piece of plywood or MDF that's squarely cut and a rectangular shape. The first thing you do is to saw or route a shallow groove right down the middle. After that, draw a line dead center the full length of the piece. After you've drawn the line, attach a runner to the bottom that's perpendicular to the leading edge and perpendicular to the line. Following that, you go to your bandsaw and make a cut. I've already made the cut that you can see. So imagine I'm making this cut and I stop at the line. Now I'm ready to drill the holes. The holes are sized to fit this little device, which is a pop rivet. Now pop rivets are usually longer. I've cut this one down to height and rounded the tip. And I've drilled holes that exactly fit the diameter of the shank. Now you notice that this groove allows the flange on the top of the rivet to lie below the surface. That's the function of the groove. Now I've drilled these holes at increments of one inch. Using this saw curve as a starting point determines the radius of the circles you're going to cut. Now I've done them, as I said, every inch. You could put them wherever you want. Perhaps you make uh, a 10 inch diameter uh, hole this year, and next year you drill another hole because you want to make a 22 inch diameter. Once you've drilled your holes, the jig is complete but there are still two things that we have to do before we can cut circles. The first is to mount a stop block for the jig on the bandsaw table, and the second is to prepare the workpiece for cutting. This is the stop block. It's made of two pieces. The bottom piece is the same material as the jig. The top piece overhangs the bottom piece and acts as a cleat when it's clamped in position. In order that it doesn't clamp the jig too tightly, we have to use a paper shim underneath. Before we install the stop block, we want to make sure the jig is in the correct position. And that's with the leading edge of the teeth right at the line that we've drawn. Now the stop block goes behind right here and gets clamped in position. Now we're ready to prepare the workpiece. All we have to do is drill a hole in the center of the bottom, the hole has to be sized to fit the shank of our pop rivet, like so. Now we're ready to install the workpiece on the jig and make our cut. I have to move the jig back. We're going to cut a 10 inch diameter circle, so I'm going to put the pop rivet in the hole for the 10 inch diameter circle, and I'm going to try my best to get the get the workpiece mounted. We're ready to make our cut. I'm going to advance the jig to the stop block and then rotate the workpiece. 